A projectile is fired from the ground level at 44 metres per second at an angle of theta degrees above the horizontal. Find the Cartesian equation of the trajectory of the particle. The projectile travels above the ground towards a wall 100 metres away from the point of projection and is 10 metres high. The projectile reaches a maximum height of 60 metres. Determine whether the projectile will hit the wall. Okay, so let's do part A first. So if we just draw a rough diagram, so we've got a projectile with 44 metres per second. We don't know the angle theta. Okay, so the horizontal displacement, and this is just a standard equation, is x is equal to u cos theta t. We'll just call that equation 1. And the vertical displacement comes from uh, y being e to u sine theta t minus a half g t squared. We'll call that equation 1, equation 2. Now, from 1, we can rewrite make t the subject. t will be equal to x over u cos theta. And if we now substitute that into uh, 2, we get that y is equal to u sine theta times x over u cos theta. OK, because that's now t, minus g over 2. Just to be a bit careful here, this one all needs to be squared. So this x over u cos theta will now be, need to be squared. Right, just writing that out again. Let me just simplify this a little bit. OK, so the u's will cancel out here, and we know that sine tan theta is sine theta over cos. We've got sine theta over tan theta here. So we're going to have x tan theta minus g x squared over 2u squared cos squared theta. But u is 44, that was given in the question, so we'll really write that as x tan theta minus g x squared 2 times 44 squared cos squared theta. And we're going to have x tan theta minus, when we work out 2 times 44 squared, we get 3,872 cos squared theta. So either of these would be okay to write as the answer. Right, B, we've got 44 metres, okay, we've got a wall here at 180 metres, which is 10 metres high, and we know that the maximum height of this projectile is 60 metres, we've got to determine whether the uh, projectile will hit the wall. So basically, if we can find the angle of theta for a maximum height of 60, and we... Uh, take x as 180 if x is if the answer is more than eight uh, 10 then we know it does not hit the wall if it's less than 10 we know that it hits the wall if it's negative then we know that it falls short of the wall okay so we need to find theta using now it's easier if you you can use the other equations but if you use v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as but in the con as for the vertical motion you know that the velocity here is going to be equal to zero. At the greatest height, the, the velocity, the vertical component of velocity, is going to be zero. So if we put zero in here, and then from u we put the vertical component, which is 44 sine theta, so it would be 44 squared sine squared theta, because it's u squared, plus 2as, so it will be minus 2g, because a is uh, minus g, times 60, because that is the uh, vertical height at that time, and then solve this for theta. So we get sine squared theta will be equal to 120, 2 times 60, 120 g over 44 squared. Let's write, draw the diagram again. Okay, and write the last line out again. Okay, so sine theta will be equal to the square root of that. Okay, then so theta will be sine to the minus one of the square positive square root of that, and if we work that out, we're going to get that the angle would have to be fifty one point two zero four degrees. So if we now substitute that into, and we have to put x equal to one eighty into y is equal to x tan theta minus g x squared over three thousand eight hundred seventy two cos squared theta. We're going to get 180 tan 51.204 degrees and minus uh, 180 squared over g times 382, 3872 cos squared of 51 of 51.204 degrees. That will give 
0.013. So that's obviously higher than 10, therefore it does not hit. But you need to write some sort of conclusion, or you won't get the uh, final mark. So we would say that as 15.013 metres is bigger than 10 metres, the projectile will not hit the wall. Now, I've got a GeoGebra app to go with this video, and the link will be put in the notes of the video. So here's the uh, GeoGebra uh, app. Okay, so you can see the projectile here. Okay, you can see at the moment the maximum height is actually 60. There's the wall. You can see that it missed. You can see it's roughly 15 just by looking at the graph. And the uh, working is here in the GeoGebra app as well. Okay. All right, you can see that it misses. Okay, you can uh, change these parameters a little bit if you want to. You can see there it would hit. If it's 43, if it's 45, it won't. That's the maximum range you can get. Okay, you can also change the maximum height a little bit. You make it lower. 60 is perhaps the maximum it will be in. Okay, and you can get, and it will tell you if it hits or miss as well. Okay, so that, that uh, GeoGebra uh, app is in the uh, link you'll find it in the link of the video. I hope you've understood this video and I thank you very much for watching.